Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to show you how to clean this Hamilton Beach coffee maker. It's programmable, 12 cup, model number 46300. So we're going to use white vinegar to clean the heating element back where the water goes. You can buy these jugs of vinegar at Walmart, 64 ounces for about two bucks. So we're going to pour this back where the water goes. I'm also going to show you this. This blue liquid is for cleaning coffee stains. So if your coffee pot has gotten those dark uh, coffee stains from being burnt or something, or even up here on the plastic, you'll get uh, brown from the coffee, and it just won't wash off with soap and water. This Clearly Coffee works really well. It's five bucks off of Amazon. Um, it is concentrated. You don't have to use very much of it, though. You have to let it soak a little bit, and then it just kind of dissolves. It's really nice. Make sure you wear gloves with this. So this does not go where the water goes. Um... For cleaning the heating element. This is just for external cleaning of the coffee stains. So we're going to dump the vinegar in. I run about, I'm going to use about half of this and that's going to fill it up about halfway. So we're going to dump the vinegar in. So now we're, this does not have a clean function, and my LCD display is not working. But we're just going to do a normal brew. Now there's now what that's going to do is it's going to heat up that vinegar, and it's going to come out. Oh, before that, I did take out the reusable coffee filter. I didn't want vinegar running through it, but I just put a paper one in there. Okay, so I've got the filter in there. We're just going to do a normal brew cycle. Um, now there's two ways of doing this. Some people just run the vinegar straight through and then they start the cleaning process with the water. But what you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to brew about half of that. So I got a half in here. So brew about half of that and then shut it off. So come up here and hit the stop button. What that does is that's gonna let that heating element back there soak. It's gonna have uh, calcium deposits and lime deposits that build up over time. And if you let that vinegar soak on it, it helps break it up and helps heat your coffee up a little better. But I'm going to run this just straight through. And once it's done, we're going to dump the vinegar out. We're going to kind of clean the filter basket with soap and water. Clean your coffee uh, pot. And then we'll just run three fresh water pots through here on a normal brew cycle. Okay, so I've got the vinegar run through. You can check your filter. You may have some calcium deposits in there. But I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. And then I'm going to fill this up with water and we're going to run just water through it. Okay, so I've run three pots of water through it now. Everything seems to be clean. I'm going to rinse off the filter basket one more time. I'm going to um, wash this with soap and water one last time. Give yourself about an hour. That's about what it takes. But you can do things in the meantime while it's brewing. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.